So, big news this week. Uh, we've talked about it for a year and a half, 18 months. Conor Ben's hopes of fighting in the UK will dealt a blow as the Boxing Border Control and UCAD, the UK Anti-Doping Agency, uh, won their appeal against the resurrection of his career. It, the suspension against him was lifted back in July last year, I believe. Yep. It's taken a very long time to come to fruition, but the National Anti-Doping Panel, the NADP, cleared Ben last week, I understand, to... Uh, sorry, in July last year to resume boxing in the UK and now after the appeal from UCAD and the Boxing Water Control they challenged the decision and they've been successful. What's unclear Spencer before we delve into this let's do this with with alacrity and clarity first of all. It's unclear first of all as much as this case has been whether the suspension will be reimposed now after the appeals outcome because the boxing board of control even though this has now happened over a week ago have made no comment mm -hmm. UCAD have made no comment Connor Ben I understand I can reveal this behind the scenes was about to do a couple of interviews he hasn't done any in the end no comment Will Ben fight in the UK, in your view, anytime soon? Will he fight abroad anytime soon? Will he ever fight in the UK again? And we'll come to it finally, and I'll answer that. Is this a win for the Boxing Board of Control and the way boxing needs to do things when positive cases come to light? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I think to answer your question, will Conor Ben boxing in, in England anytime soon. I don't think he will. I think we're back to square one now, where it's now Conor Ben, strict liability. You now have to present yourself to the British Boxing Board of Control, which I've been asking you to do. Present your evidence. You're saying you've got scientific proof and various other reasons why you didn't get, you know, why it was contamination or why it was in your system falsely. Well, now's the time, my friend, to present that evidence because he needs to do that. You know, that's for the sake of boxing and for the sake of his own career. Absolutely. Those two things are very important because, as you say, it's done a full square around the block and we're back at the same front door, aren't we? Yes. They, they, they won their case based on jurisdiction initially, um, but what they haven't done is what you just mentioned there is the strict liability of those things being in your system. So if you have the evidence that the tests were contaminated and they were wrong, bring them forward. You've been out for 18 months, even though you've had a couple of fights under American licenses, or an mm -hmm. American license, rather. Um, he's had two fights in America, under Eddie Hearn, on the zone. But really, and this is the key in all of this, he is a big name, he is a big star. The big fight out there is still Chris Eubank, in my view. And the problem is, unless they go unlicensed, unless Chris Eubank Jr. steps away from his British license and may never get one again if he fights Conor Ben unlicensed... That's the only way they're going to get around this. But I don't believe they should. I believe this is a victory for testing process, for the jurisdiction, sorry, the judicial situation, judicial rather, situation around having drugs emerge in your body. We have to have strict liability. Absolutely. Listen, Gareth, it's, you know, we know that how... Big Conor Ben was, and he, and he was a nation sweetheart. People loved him, you know. Like you outside know, his dad's, the heavyweights, he was the biggest great. Absolutely, name. his dad, his dad's a boxing legend. So now this grey clouds happened. You know, his name's not particularly good at the moment. It's not respected at the moment because of the situation that's going on. You need to clear your name, my friend, and and that's. The only way that he does it is by presenting that evidence that he says, and he's been saying for a long time now that he's got, well, just present it and get this done with and move on. If you can't do that, then, you know, it, it's only saying one thing, isn't it? We're not putting the knives in here on Conor Ben tonight. We're just simply stating that situationally and pragmatically, if that appeal had not been won by the Boxing Board of Control and UCAD, it would have allowed... It was a victory for boxing in many ways. Absolutely. A victory for testing systems because other people would have seen that as an opening through the door and might have ridden roughshod over the rules in the future. It would have so been it's chaotic. it's about Connor in lots of ways. Yeah. It's about this whole... How the w way this whole process has been handled. And, and you are right to say this. Go back, do strict liability potentially take a retrospective ban if you have the evidence but you have it inside you and that was in you and it was a mistake you've almost served the ban anyway in the uk because i think 
he and Chris Eubank Jr. is still a massive fight in the UK. It it was capable of being in a big stadium, in my view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally agree with you. It's, a, it's, it's still a huge fight, but you know he's never going to gain the respect from the, the public, the public respect because of what he's gone through, unless he clears that name. So you know if he's happy being the villain, fighting as the villain, and you know and and. <sighs> It's a difficult listen. It's a difficult situation because of you know the situ the situation is that Conor Ben has failed two tests, two separate tests, and he needs to clear that name now. Regardless that, of someone that, else that, has made with, a mistake with, with, with the with testing, the, yeah, 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 with jurisdiction and that getting lifted, and them looking for loop, mm. loopholes in mm. the system. That's a very good word, loopholes. Yeah, yeah looking for loopholes in the system. Mm. Come on, mate. Forget the loopholes. Forget like get, going other ways around it. Prove your innocence. Let's move on. Prove your innocence. If you can't prove your innocence, take it like a man, put your hands up and say, listen, I made a mistake. And that's where we're at with it because I think it's just been dragging on for way too long and it's sort of... It was it's getting bit, a bit a, embarrassing, a if I'm honest. A year ago, before the shake-up of the heavyweight division, it was the biggest story in boxing. Mm. One of the big... It's the most obfuscated, confusing and grey... Um, kind of grey story. You, you call it smoke and mirrors. You've called it smoke and mirrors in the past. It may be that, it may be not. But the way it's been gone around for a very long time, and if you think October 2022, mm -hmm. we're in 2024 now, yep. that fight was going ahead yeah. four days before... It was October the 8th, I think, 2022, the fight yep. with he and Chris Eubank. It was a massive fight. It was a sold-out O2 arena, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was going to be a very big event. We've gone round the houses with it. It's kind of disappeared in some ways because boxing has become very big again. There are bigger things to talk about. But it is a grey cloud at the moment. And it, it's got a bigger story. It's become a bigger story it's, than Conor Ben. Absolutely. It's, it's a story that is fundamental to the testing process. You're a man who's had a terrible injury boxing 26 years ago now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, we have to safeguard the, the integrity of fighters stepping into the ring on an equal playing field against other fighters and have a testing system. Otherwise, because if this ruling had gone the other way and they hadn't won the appeal, it would literally have said, take what you want because you can get away with it. Totally agree. You know, the UK and the British Boxing Board of Control done the right thing by digging their heels in and saying, no, we're not accepting this. We're not accepting you finding loot holes in the system, lifting jurisdictions so that that, that allows you to b fight anywhere else. But what they were doing was... They they was getting this this jurisdiction lifted, and by doing that, they were saying, "Oh, Conor Ben's been cleared now." No, he'd never ever ever it was been cleared, cleared on jurisdiction. Not cleared cleared on, ju on straight Ab liability. Absolutely. And um, Gareth, just quickly before you Very go quickly, to your break, please. just quickly before you do that, I say, "Yeah, listen, for the sake of boxing, clear your name," absolutely. and that's what he needs to do. A short while ago, thank you, Spencer. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Oliver. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.